Hey everyone, welcome to Flutter Puzzle Hack. And this is the project which we have developed as a part of the hackathon. And right now, let me walk you with the basic functionalities and the features which we have implemented, as well as the logic to develop this Flutter Puzzle game. Right? Well, what you see right now is the web view, and this is our UI. And we have two simple buttons over here on the left. One is for shuffling the cells, and another for the levels basically we have three levels over here well, the first is the beginner and by default we have the intermediate and advanced right so beginner is nothing but a three cross three puzzle which is a simple one and likewise for intermediate it is four and for advanced it is five cross five uh, over here we have a simple toggle button to switch between the themes and so this is all about the view in the web browser and let me just show how it looks in a mobile view as you see here this is the layout which we get for a, a typical mobile view a simple layout but a change in the drop down values instead of drop down we will be having tab views and instead of the refresh button which we have as a uh, elevated button over there we have a simple floating action button over here right and the same kind of uh, functionalities everything well, this is all about what we have or what we see when it is viewed on a mobile device now let us focus on the logic part of implementing this puzzle game first uh, we can just consider this puzzle as a single dim single one dimensional array that is we have used one array that is a 1d array you can say say for example let me take this 4 cross 4 as the uh, example and we have a, a totally 16 cells ranging from 0 to 15 and the empty cell empty space is nothing but a cell which is not provided with any color as a transparent color which we have provided that is why we can have kind of a space over there and in the which is index zero right uh, apart from index zero everything is numbered and for moving the cell that is the logic for moving the cells from one place to another is actually what we are doing behind the scene is we are just swapping their indices say for example the empty space is actually index 0 and to move the index uh, or to move the cell number 1 to index 0 that is to the white space or the empty space we will be just switching the index of the cell number 1 to the index of the white space or the empty space and concurrently we will be just swapping the index of white space to the index where the one that is the cell number 1 was present by, by doing so we will be able to move the cells say for example if you want to move the cell 6 to the white space then we will be just swapping their indices say for example the cell number 6 is at index uh, 5 say starting from 0 it is 5 and the white space or the empty space is at cell number or uh, is at index 9 so to move move this is, Six, cell number 6 down we will be just swapping the index of white space to index 5 and uh, and just change the index of cell number 6 to 9 that's it that is how we will be just moving the cells and likewise we uh, and there is a condition that we can't move or we can swap all the cells with the white space right we can swap the cells which are present far beyond or which is present diagonally with the white white space or the empty space and the condition for that can be categorized into two that is first let us just address the horizontal cells say for example if you want to move the cell then they should be adjacent right now the white space is over here and the cells which are adjacent to it horizontally are 7 1 right to access these cells programmatically we will be making use of a simple condition like which is n minus 1 and n plus 1 where the root index would be the empty space so which would be minus one index from the empty space or plus one index from the empty space if it is so we can just swap their indices right away then so that is possible 
say for example the empty space is over here then n minus 1 will be uh, cell number 1 and n plus 1 will be cell number 12 so you will be able to move the cells uh, 1 and 12 but we can't move the cell number 7 to the white space why in the sense it is n minus 2 so n minus 1 is 1 and n minus 2 is 7 right now okay so that is how we can just move the horizontal cells or we can just swap the horizontal cells that is the horizontal adjacent cells with the white space now we can start with the vertical cells so uh, the condition for swapping it will be n plus or minus 4 so it is a 4 cross 4 uh, puzzle right so if it is a 3 cross 3 puzzle then it should be n plus or minus 3 if it is a 5 cross 5 it is n plus or minus 5 so for now uh, the, for the example we have taken 4 cross 4 therefore uh, for moving the or swapping the puzzle it should be at the index either n minus 4 or it should be n plus 4 so it is the n the empty space is the n minus 1 is 7 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so minus 4 is 6 therefore we can just swap the 6 with empty space at this therefore we can swap 6 with the index of empty space likewise n plus 4 will be it is n plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and 2 is plus 4 therefore we can just swap uh, cell number 2 with the index of empty space that is how we can just uh, move the adjacent horizontal and vertical cells over with the white space well that's the logic which we have used for developing this puzzle game well that's it guys thank you